Hey everybody, it's Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network, uh, brought to you by Infinity Flux out of Hickson, Tennessee. And uh, I went to Infinity Flux today. This is the day after New Comic Book Day. And uh, I decided I was going to get a bunch of books. And I've got a lot of stuff in my pull box. had a lot of special orders. And uh, first off, like I'm really excited because Uncanny X-Men, number one, had like a lot of stuff, had a lot of covers with Jubilee on them. I was like super happy about that. There were a few that I couldn't get because they were like one in a hundred variants and things like that. And, you know, I guess that, you know, they didn't have like that big of a, a uh, like an order, you know, they're not like massive piles of Uncanny X-Men books. But um, I, I want to like go over like a few things that I got. Uh, first off, uh, they ended up putting aside for me really cool uh, old Toy Biz uh, Iceman action figure. He was like the, the see-through action figure Iceman. And he had like the little the little sled or the little ice piece that you could put him on. It would fill with water. You could freeze it. And it was really cool. I ended up getting it for 10 bucks, which was really awesome of him to put that back for me. So I ended up getting it. I would show it off on the air, but it's already on the wall back there above my Jubilee figure. Uh, first off, this is one of the few variants that had Jubilee on it. The uh, Uncanny X-Men variants for various um, titles through the month, you know, like different variations of Uncanny X-Men. And uh, this one, Champions, if you look really small down at the bottom, right here next to my finger, Jubilee is on there. That's I paid $4 for this variant because Jubilee was the size of a, size of a postage stamp. So like super duper. Um, one very funny thing here, this is the Rob Li uh, Liefeld variant. If you look right here, Beast has like two right feet. So, yeah. It's kind of funny because, you know, they say that, you know, he can't draw feet. Proof positive, I guess. Uh, I ended up finding these. I, I picked these up just on a whim. They weren't in my pull box or anything. Uh, Return of Wolverine, uh, second printing. They didn't have the, you know, the first printing was sold out. And then I ended up getting the uh, number two first printing. I'm going to, I'm very interested to read that, especially after, uh, you know, the Search for Wolverine series. I, I read the uh, the one with Jubilee in it, the uh, Madripoor. We'll see <clears throat> how that book goes. Uh, the newest issue of Infinity Wars. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I've already read this one and done a review on it. This is the one I probably need to go through and read again because I did a very bad job of reading it. And then when I read other people's reviews on it, they were giving a lot of details that I didn't pick up on that first time. We've also done a review on the new issue of The Walking Dead. This is a really good issue. I'm, I'm a really big fan of it. Uh, this is actually Infinity Warps number one. Uh, I'm not 100% on uh, what this is about. But we will be finding out soon, I think. I'll be reading it and then maybe doing a review at some point over the next week. Um, Fantastic Four number three. Due to the ending of number two, I decided to add this to my pull. I'm going to read this and hopefully stay with the Fantastic Four because I'm really rooting for this title to succeed. <clears throat> Next is uh, I got Captain America 3, 4, and 5 uh, because, let's see, I'm pretty sure these are all first prints. Yeah, they are. One of them is like a really cool, I, I love that. But uh, Ashley is actually like kind of into the Captain America series. So I picked these up for her. I personally haven't read them and probably won't just because my plate is so full. Next up, <clears throat> I picked this up just because of the reviews and some of the spoilers that I read. Uh, Avengers number 10, which is actually Avengers number 700. Uh, I'm actually going to have to read this and see what it's all about. I'm, I'm actually pretty stoked for it. And finally, our 
uh, issues of Uncanny X-Men. I'm trying to think. Okay, so this is the main one. I got all these because Jubilee is on the covers. These are like eight bucks a pop. Jubilee's on the cover. That's the main one. Uh, there is another, I believe this is the, I think this is the Liefeld variant. I think. I don't see this. Yep, it is. And she, she has a prominent place on that cover. I'm a super fan. That's probably my favorite cover. This one, uh, this is the Pacheco variant. She's in here. Very, very limited space on it, though. But she is there. I'm a, I'm a big fan. I actually, this is like a 1 in 25 variant, and I paid the $14 premium for it. It's a pretty cool looking book. I just, anything that's got Jubilee on it, anybody knows me, of course, I have a shirt. I'm a big Jubilee fan, and I, I couldn't help but get this one. This was also a plain cover price. The Scotty Young, uh, the baby Scotty Young variant. Jubilee's on there. It's actually the first time I've ever seen her in a, on a Scotty Young variant. So I'm, I'm super excited. Can't wait to uh, read some of those books. I've already read Uncanny X-Men number one. You can check out our review of that, uh, one of the more recent videos that I've done, and then I'll be reviewing some of these other books uh, at some point soon. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap. Uh, that's uh, Be sure to check out Infinity Flux. They've, they've got some awesome variants. Uh, they've got it to where you can uh, you know, turn in your books that you want graded to them. They send off CGC books every third or every Wednesday. Uh, $30 for moderns. Uh, I think they said an extra 10 bucks to cut the turnaround time in half. Um, but yeah, the, uh, I, I, a lot of books are being added to my pool and I'm super excited about where a lot of the Marvel books are going. And I think pretty much all those are Marvel. But anyway, I'm Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network brought to you by Infinity Flux and your local Satanist at Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thanks for watching this uh, comic book day uh, grab bag review.